Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Dr. B. As part of the asthma series, I'm going to do a quick video explaining what happens inside your child's airways during an asthma attack. Ask Dr. B. So imagine you've got this thick, gloopy milkshake to drink, and you've got this big, wide bore straw, and it's really easy, and the milkshake just glides right up into your mouth. And then you're given this little narrow straw. Now it's going to take all the power of your cheeks and possibly your neck muscles just to pull that thick, gloopy milkshake up to the narrow straw. And that's what it's like to breathe when you're having an asthma attack. So when your child's well, their airways look like this, and the movement of air is easy and effortless. But when they're having an asthma attack, several things happen. The lining of the airways become inflamed and thickened, and suddenly the size of the opening that your child has to breathe through is a lot narrower. During the inflammation, a lot more mucus may be produced, which may further narrow the space your child has to breathe through. Also, the muscles on the outside of the airway may spasm shut, further reducing the space that your child has to breathe through. The wheezing noise that we hear with asthma is the sound of air moving through a narrowed tube, sort of like when the wind blows through narrow holes. So the medicines that we use to treat asthma work on different parts of this reactive process. The steroid inhaler reduces the sensitivity of the airways so they're less likely to have an inflammatory response when exposed to a trigger. The salbutamol preventer inhaler relaxes the muscles so they don't tend to spasm so much. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and continue watching the rest of our asthma series. And it's World Asthma Day, so please tell all your friends about it. Let's educate everybody and improve the outcome of children with asthma. Thanks for watching, Ask Dr. B.